time out with him. Hello, welcome to Time Out with Tim O. I'm your host, Tim Owens. As always, very grateful to be here. I want to wish everyone a very happy new year and excited to be in the year 2024. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season, got to enjoy Christmas, New Year, create some memories with friends and family and those that we all love. Now, one thing I want to jump into today. I was having a conversation with a couple of uh, ladies, and we were talking about the man and woman dynamic. I know it get beat to death on YouTube, but I want to make one point, though, really quick. You know, a lot of people leave relationships and marriages because they say they aren't happy anymore. Or they're not. Their needs aren't getting met and fulfilled. And one lady brought to my attention. She said that, well, back in the day, it was different because a lot of ladies put up with a lot of things that modern women today don't have to deal with. True. I agree with that. So then we kind of went a little bit deeper into the conversation and the thought came to me and I discussed this with the ladies and they actually agree with me when I said, I said, you know what? You made a great point about how in the past things were different and a lot of women didn't have a choice but to put up with certain things. But it goes a little deeper than that. So both ladies looked at me and said, elaborate, which I did. So I'm going to drop this real quick before I get into the reaction video I'm going to do today which relates to what I'm talking about now. And you're like, well, you know, where is he going with this? So if you look at, you know, from 1930, 40, 50, 60s, you know, even late as the 70s, you know, maybe 80s, I don't really know. But I just, these things, when, I, when I've talked to older people and a little bit of research, this is what I, I've come up with. So let's start, let's say 1940, all right? Um, yeah, there were a lot of abusive guys. There were alcoholics, womanizers, all these different things. So a lot of ladies did put up with stuff that they didn't want to necessarily deal with. But however, it was under different circumstances. So if you were a single mom with three kids back in 1940 and you had a husband who maybe went across town with another lady or drank too much and acted a fool, you had to you had a very, very tough decision to make because men were protectors of the home. They most of them had a blue collar job where, you know, he just did hard labor. But if she got angry because he saw another woman across town or he wasn't taking her on date nights enough and she left, the consequences were a lot more serious back then than now. So she had, even though he was maybe a scumbag or just not a great guy, but him being in the home, there was a level of protection that she had from the outside world. Now, let me go back a little bit. I'm not saying the man could not have been a monster, when a lot of cases they were, but he protected her from the outside world. So they dealt with a lot of things that modern women today don't have to deal with because of the times, because of the protection that a man provided. Horrible or not, he still was a man. He was in a the home. There was no one else that was allowed to mess with his family or his wife. So if she had car trouble back in the day, very, very dangerous, very, very serious. You had predatory police officers, you had strangers and that would do something that can harm her or the children. So there was a lot more, there were more threats in the environment for a single woman with children than it is today. So nowadays you have a modern woman who leaves a good man who's not abusive, who's not an alcoholic, it's not an alcoholic and a good provider because she's bored. Or he's not exciting enough. Or she just doesn't feel like he take her out for ice cream enough. And there's always other guys that are pursuing her that are telling her I'll, you know, rope the moon out the sky for you. Now, which one would you rather deal with? A man who's a great provider, has none of those other issues, or a man that's a complete savage and horrible man, period, who doesn't even provide provision or protection. So yeah, true enough. Ladies had it harder, put up with more crap. It's not back in the day anymore. But compare what the ladies back then had to deal with for provision and protection and what you today have to not deal with. Or deal, you know, you have to deal with it at all, but you're leaving men that are better quality men than what the ladies had to pick from. Makes sense, don't it? All right. So I'm going to jump into this reaction video. 
There's a YouTuber goes by the name of the Crimson Cure. She's actually reacting to a video posted by some social media influence lady or whatever she is. Uh, I don't know her, but I, she talks a lot of trash in this video. And she's bashing men about what type of job they should work and have in this man or whatever the case. Complete foolishness, nonsense. So some of you guys may have seen it, maybe not. But I say, let's check it out. I'm on. So leave some comments below. We can discuss it. But let's cut to the video. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure. And this is my perspective. Okay. So since since some people are talking about what to leave behind in 2023, see, the reason why we're going to keep talking about you chicks is because y'all keep saying stupid stuff. As long as you do stupid stuff in 2024, we're not going to not... Uh, point it out and point out how everybody can be better. This chick, let me just let you listen to this foolishness. It's foolishness. Let me just let you in on that. It's foolishness, complete foolishness. But we're going to get into why it's worse than what you think it is. So here we go. Of jobs that men should not do, especially grown ass men. Okay. For one, men. By the way, the language, you know, you know, these whores have foul mouths. So the language. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you're a grown ass man working in a fast food restaurant is OK, something is wrong with you. All right. Leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown ass man in his goddamn 40s flipping my goddamn burger. OK, let it go. Leave it alone. That job is not for you. Anything in retail, okay? I don't want to see no grown-ass man handing me a dress, okay? Why are you a grown-ass man working at Ross? That makes absolutely no sense, okay? Target, Marshalls, like, guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, in college. But once you're a grown-ass man, you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant. And for you high value men that think that it's high value to work for the city <laughs> let me tell you something you're absolutely wrong all right no police officers no firefighters no construction workers no mailmen no post office um if you consider that a high value man you're absolutely wrong okay there's nothing high value about making seventy thousand a year you men that think working for the city is high value, it's actually not, okay? It's pathetic. It's sad, all right? I don't want my husband coming home smelling like trash. Yes, we do need people to take the trash out, but don't come to me thinking that that's a high value job. Absolutely not, okay? You guys need to go get some real careers, okay? Become an entrepreneur or something, all right? Own a Lamborghini or something. Like, you guys thinking that this... You driving around here in a fucking Toyota and thinking that you're a high value man because you work for the fucking post office. You're absolutely wrong. Stop it. All right. You're low value. All right. And if you want a high value woman like me, you need to switch your career path. There's a now. This is Diamond the Body, whose claim to fame is having enough bodies to literally fill up a large graveyard. This is the one that I did a show on a couple of years ago that was talking about she has had sex with more than 2,000 people. This is the caliber of foolishness that we're dealing with. No chick that has literally has sex with the population of an American small town and who has slicked the first uh, roll of her hair down to pretend that they are baby hairs and they are gorilla glued down to her forehead with long raptor claws, a stupid chain, should ever be taken seriously. No one, I hope no one is actually listening to this foolishness. The reason why I'm even commenting on it is because 
you have this level of this low level trash bot of a female that sells her body to the highest bidder who doesn't know anything other than sex work, um, BBLs and trying to turn up and literally living her whole adult life as a whore, as a known whore that she was proud to tell people about her astronomical body count that completely destroyed any perceived value that she might have had. I hope that we, it, it's these women, these females, they don't qualify as women, these females who love to get somewhere and try to dictate men, trying to dictate what men do, trying to dictate what is acceptable for men or acceptable forms of manhood, acceptable forms of masculinity, trying to dictate how men go about earning their incomes and then trying to rate them based on what you think they make. This is why I was talking about the other week about people asking what you do so or for a living so that they can try to see what kind of respect they can allocate or not give to you based on your profession and how they perceive that profession. This is what we're going to leave in 2023. We're going to leave out trying for, for whores trying to tell men how to be men and women in general. The only thing, the only reason why I'm focusing on whores is because lionesses don't do this. Lionesses don't get places and try to dictate what men do and try to, you know, tell men what's acceptable, what are acceptable forms of manhood, what are acceptable uh, forms of income. These jobs that she mentions, especially when she mentions start talking about city jobs, start talking about uh, construction and things of that nature. These are the jobs that are connected to a society's infrastructure. Only, really only men do these jobs. Very few women in these fields, very few women are firefighters, very few women uh, are construction workers, very few women are in these different fields that, like I said, are connected to maintaining the infrastructure of a society. So individuals that customarily never get into any of these types of, of jobs don't have a right to talk about who should and who shouldn't get into them and who should and who shouldn't be doing these jobs. I find it also to be ironic that She's talking about no fast food and all like you'll get a chick that don't know nothing but working at the back in Wendy's and a, get somewhere talking about she don't go to Cheesecake Factory. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. But we have a tendency not to call these women bums or say that they are lacking or say that they are not living up to normal adult standards. I, I know what we're going to do. We're going to start doing. We're going to start talking about what makes a real woman. In 2024, we're going to start talking about what makes a, a real woman, what a grown woman should and should not be doing, because that's the conversation that these chicks don't never want to have. What is a grown woman supposed to be doing? What should she be refraining from? Because a grown woman shouldn't be nowhere in her 30s, late 20s, 30s, still trying to sell her box because she ain't got nothing else to do and don't know nothing else to do. She has no skill set. Your, your body not a skill set, ma'am. Sucking eggplants is not a skill set. Because once don't nobody want to look at you no more and don't nobody want to pay you no more for your sex work, then what you going to do? Then what you going to do? So what we need to do is we need to we need to start Xing out these these slurs and thought pockets and these uh, these 304s and whores. We need to start phasing them right on out and let 2024 be the year of the lioness. 
We're going to start phasing out these back feet. No, nobody want to hear this foolishness. And they'll get right in front of a camera somewhere and say this stupid stuff. And somebody's supposed to take you seriously. And then got the audacity to talk about she high value. Well, you not even high value as far as holes go. Girl, bye. You at the bottom of the hole barrel. All right. Well, I had about enough of that. Um, I like how the Crimson crew, she held her accountable. She didn't let off the hook. The language is a little bit strong um, on both hands. You know, Crimson really doesn't take the take the foolishness kindly. I don't agree with any of the things that the other girl in the video was saying. Crimson Cure, she made some pretty good points. You know, it just, it just kind of boggles my mind how someone who's not a man can tell a man what he should do and how he should be and different things like that. When the whole time that, yeah, okay. What about a man's character? What about the values that he that he cherish those seem to have no like no one cares nowadays well the majority of people don't care i know there are a few people that do but the majority don't but my point is that there's a lot of men out here hurting because of the fact they feel undervalued and, and unappreciated and i would just leave it with this men know your worth hang in there sometimes you have to just watch everyone around you get what they want or they desire it seems that way but just hang in there man things have changed keep the faith i guarantee you it's always better to be someone of strong moral character and, and ethics and integrity row seems a little harder but you'll eventually get there so that's my video for today as again welcome to 2024 I'm excited. Got some great guests coming up that'll be coming on, joining me. Uh, one I'm super excited about. We haven't spoken in a long time. But I think you guys will like the show. Going to be some great information there. As always, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Continue to take this journey with me and go along with this ride. As always, happy people do not cause problems. Peace. If everybody winning, who's losing? Man, who's losing? I'm trying to make it make sense. It's like it's so confusing. Yeah, so I see the pain in your eyes from all the lonely nights.